Hey, what's up guys? First of all, sorry about uh, I had a little bit delay for, for this video. I was busy for some project, video project that I had with uh, one of the new brands on the market, which is IntroLine uh, for some beauty products, that kind of stuff. And I had to make a video for them and it was a busy uh, couple of days for shooting and a couple of days for editing. And still I have lots of things for uh, to edit them, to make some tutorials for them because obviously uh, we were shooting some uh, 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 operations and they're gonna make some tutorials for uh, basically to release this on, on their website. So sorry about uh, <laughs> the delay, uh, but um, I want to talk about my shoot that I did with this awesome camera Canon C100 Mark II and uh, and the last minute I decided to shoot with, with this instead of uh, uh, DSLR camera Canon uh, 5D Mark IV uh, because I realized that the, the most important thing for them is to show the detail of the skin and, and the face while they're doing some um, treatments and or, or, or operations and it needs to be super clear sharp and focused obviously so I said okay this is a 4k sensor it has uh, obviously not capturing in 4k it's just a 4k sensor uh, but benefits the all, all um, options from a 4k sensor like sharpness and color and all kind of stuff so I decided to shift to this one and I use obviously cinema lens uh, 85 millimeter by Zine and it was I think in my opinion and they liked it and uh, I think the result was really good especially for the operations and uh, but about this camera it, that was the first uh, actual um, experience in a serious way with this camera for me and I absolutely loved it because uh, it's not like a DSLR camera, this is a proper cinema, uh, I mean uh, basic cinema camera from Canon and uh, but it has all the same layout as the bottom for makes job easier for for uh, video makers for example the options on this side that i liked and i used most of the time was magnification it was one of the best really uh, because as i said i need to i needed to show the details of the skin while they're doing some uh, putting some needles and some disgusting stuff. I'm gonna put a little bit of that video on this video to see what was the uh, what was the whole uh, idea behind that video and show a little bit of details and those kind of stuff. Uh, and this magnification button was the greatest help for me during the shoot because I could expand the uh, the, the the view preview on the monitor. And I could make sure 100% is focused. Uh, so the first one, the second one was was peaking, which I don't. Uh, you you, are, uh, you can use it when you use cinema manual, fully manual can, uh, lenses. Uh, but again, it's another good option. Zebra, I used it because I was using with some uh, uh, artificial lights uh, beside the ambient light, so I had to. Uh, make sure that uh, I can eliminate the highlights properly and that was for Zebra and it was it was great the other thing was because we started from early in the morning and uh, we finished by night the first day and again the next day from early in the morning till midday so uh, obviously the ambient light will change light temperature will change and you need to uh, adjust it accordingly so these buttons here gives you the options to uh, adjust your uh, uh, light temperature and the Kelvin 
uh, but obviously not with this lens. I had some shots uh, with the uh, with the EF series lens that uh, I, I I was able to do this uh, with with that with that kind of lens. And uh, the but the the best part for me was and obviously the greatest options in this camera is uh, this ND. A built-in filter which I used it for 99% of the shots and in my eyes it gives me a little bit cinematic look to the footage that's I love about this and easily you can eliminate uh, the, the highlights by using uh, two f stop or four stops and or six f stop of ND filter built-in so the other positive thing about built-in uh, ND filter is you don't need because I was uh, I was uh, rigged this camera and it was a little bit uh, disaster to sometimes uh, open the map box put some filter on it and again close it we, uh, we didn't have much time but with this camera you have to just push this uh, knobs toward the plus sign or minus sign and you can have your uh, uh prefer uh anti uh, filter f-stop on the footage so uh, in general uh, i was absolutely satisfied from this ah the other thing that i really like this uh, microphone on the handle unit which gave me uh, a really uh good uh, scratch audio i know there is some uh, microphone built-in microphone here which is new i heard there is no such a thing in canon c100 the previous version of this uh, but uh, because most of the time i had a lot of distance to the person that i was interviewing with them and this was my scratch audio and to be honest on some of the footage footages I use this as a main main audio because the clarity, because of the quality, uh, the amount of noise that I could get rid of in post was absolutely fantastic, and I liked, I loved it. And uh, the other thing that I can say, obviously, if you use one of the EF series lens series uh, lenses from uh, Canon uh, or Sigma, you can use all of these uh, adjustable 17 button here and which gives you more uh, uh, more place to play uh, on the shoot and uh, the, the, the other thing is this is a lightweight camera uh, and you don't have any problem uh, to, to carry it around the room or the place that you shoot it's a very easy uh, handheld camera and uh, even with the rig, I think it's something around four or five kilo, and uh, which is a good uh, weight for a cinema, proper cinema camera. And uh, by the way, ah, I actually, I, this was my preview LCD during the shoot, and I was uh, recording on uh, Ninja 2, uh, Atomos Ninja 2. Uh, because I needed to do some color grading after I knew already that uh, we need to color grade a little bit after so I use this because obviously when you uh, record uh, uh, ProRes HQ422 you have a uh, lot more space in post-production to play with the color and basically color grading and that was uh, awesome my opinion because I realized that when I'm playing with the shadows highlights or some colors uh, and I played a video for uh, 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 review uh, doesn't uh, give me a lot of flicker uh, in the highlights or shadows that was that was great for me and uh, I think uh, that was the whole uh, thing about this camera at the moment but I'm gonna uh, sh uh, do a better review with some 
detailed shots on the monitor I show some comparison between this and Canon 5D Mark IV 4K recording uh, full HD on this camera and we compare a little bit uh, after but for now I think that was it and uh, as always uh, if you like these kind of videos and if you have some uh, ideas or uh, if you want to know something or you want to uh, complain about something please feel free to leave a comment below and if you like this video give it a thumbs up and uh, in general if you like my channel please subscribe to my channel uh, till next time thanks for watching and see you soon Bye.